Hello, everyone. I am so excited today to welcome Dane Wigington, one of my absolute heroes. And I have spoken so much about the fact that what good is it, good is it to ban the jabs when we do not ban geoengineering because we are being poisoned and assaulted from every which way. And you're absolutely correct. We cannot hide from what's raining down through our air column. It's in every breath we take. And, uh, you know, you've done a lot of research on actually what is in there, as well as spoken with whistleblowers. You know, I had posted one of your videos where you spoke with a whistleblower that 40 million tons of this particulates are, and even graphene and other uh, polymers and metals are being uh, sprayed. Can you explain a bit about uh, uh, all of this and, and in regards to, you know, what you've been seeing over the years and, and where are we at with this whole situation? situation? Well, it doesn't look good and it's looking worse by the day. And the exchange you referred to was researchers we've worked with with the University of Minnesota. That's an internationally renowned agricultural testing institution. And based on hundreds of lab tests over the state of Minnesota and the extrapolation of the amount of material in that rain and extrapolating out of what a global coverage would be, it looks like something in the range, you were correct, 40 to 60 million tons of highly toxic nanoparticles dispersed annually. And that is likely a conservative estimate. So we're talking about aluminum, barium, strontium, manganese, surfactants, polymer fibers, graphene, and likely much more that we don't know to look for yet. It's an ongoing experiment and, and we are the subjects of that experiment. It's not only decimating the planet's life support systems, it's climate systems, the protective ozone layer, but again, it's, it's ubiquitously contaminating virtually everything. This is clearly biological warfare. The only way forward in this battle is to reach a critical mass of awareness in the population. And that doesn't mean just knowing, because as, as you know, many people can be aware of a truth, but they seem to feel no sense of responsibility to respond accordingly. So when I speak of a critical mass of awareness, that means an understanding that we are all literally quite immediately fighting for our lives. We are on a very short time horizon on the current course. With these programs, you have what amounts to a headless, heartless, soulless cancer of control. All the individual cancer cells doing their part, whether they work for Raytheon or Lockheed Martin or even the National Weather Service and NOAA, our nation's weathermen, both agencies have an illegal federal gag order on all agency operations. It's not specifically for geoengineering because that would be a massive red flag, wouldn't it? It's all agency operations. I've, I've had a NOAA scientist state to my face, quote, we all know this is going on. We have no First Amendment protection. We don't know what to do. But the bottom line is the only way that we will stop these programs is from the inside out. And that comes right back to that critical mass of awareness when everybody who's a part of it, either actively or passively in their families, know what they're participating in. And they stand down because they're literally participating in their own near term self extermination. That is the only way we have of stopping this. And if we could fully expose it, Dr. Anna, I'll leave it with this. We would cause an absolute shockwave around the world as populations realize what their governments have done to them without their knowledge and consent. And then they would start to consider the CV-19 scenario, that that's in the same category. And, and it, it would drag so much to the surface with it. And that's our goal. We're facing an already unfolding collapse of the web of life. So these ubiquitous materials are, as you stated, infiltrating every form of life. So let's start from the, the base of the food chain, from plankton to insects, all of which are imploding right now. It's not somewhere off on the horizon, it's happening right now. The current statistics today indicate, and, and by the way, we have no idea how many species there are on the planet. It's, it's felt that as few as 10% or less may have even been identified yet. So we're losing species we don't even know exist. And there may be as many as 100 million of them. So we're losing two to 300 species of plant, animal, and insect statistically a day, a day right now. That's 15,000 times the background rate because you hear people say, oh, well, species have always come and gone, right? Not at 15,000 times the background rate. That's a million and a half percent of normal. There's nothing normal about that. So again, on the current trajectory, we will not be here much longer. And I can't stress that with enough gravity. We are on a trajectory for near-term global omnicide. And if we add the ozone layer disintegration on top of this, which geoengineering is destroying, it's not hairspray cans, which release bad CFCs, of course, but that's 
that's like a Dixie cup, a paper cup full of water compared to a tidal wave when you have a military tanker dumping 100 tons of material at once. So we face functional ozone layer collapse in the next few years. We're already down to 30% remaining based on our readings. So, I mean, from every angle, the walls are closing in. So your, your sense of urgency is completely on target. We have to prioritize this issue. We absolutely cannot hide from what they're dispersing 24-7, which we already know is highly toxic, synergistically toxic, and they can make it much more lethal at any point of their choosing. And, and Anna, Dr. Anna, you know how much it takes to cover the entire horizon with an aerosol cloud. We're talking about unfathomable amount of materials. Again, a military tanker like a KC-135 can carry 100 tons in a single payload. And we're all breathing it. So, again, this is absolutely a fight for life. And when I say we're on a short time horizon on the current course, I'm not talking about centuries or decades. I, I personally will be surprised if we make it much further at all. I, I, I'm always hesitant to, to, to list any specific date. But in the coming weeks and months, Anything could happen at any point in time while people are distracted with completely scripted election theater idiocy. And I don't care what side of the fence people are on. The whole affair is scripted nonsense. Um, we had better pay attention to the oncoming train because it's about to run us over.